Hello. Welcome to this Advanced Steel 2021 tutorial. In previous lesson, we have already created a joint connection at intersection between Grid 4 and Elevation 5000. Today, we are going to use Cut at Object tool again, to trim the lower end of two diagonal bracing beams. We are going to cut this diagonal bracing beam like this. Now back to 3D model and navigate to the lower end of diagonal bracing beam at grid 5. On advanced steel tool palette, select features group and then select cut at object tool. Then select the column as cutting tool and press enter or right click and then select diagonal bracing beam and press enter. Do the same procedure with base plate as cutting tool. As you can see, the left hand bracket is now crashing with the, the end of H240A beam, so we need to remove it. Right click on the bracket and select Advanced Joint Properties from Context Menu. On Base Plate dialog box, select Stiffener and Plate tab then click on Web Stiffener category. In the Create Stiffener field, select One Side Option. Oh, the left bracket still clashing with diagonal bracing beam, so it must be the other side. Back to base plate dialog box, and select other side option in create stiffener field. Do the same procedure for lower end of the diagonal bracing beam at grid 3. Now we are going to check the end cut of the diagonal bracing beam. By selecting the diagonal bracing beam, and on the advanced steel tool palette then select quick views group, and then select. Show only selected object tool, now as you can see, both end of the beam have been cut. Now select all visible to show up all the 3D model. In order to show only structure elements at grid A, let's turn on the model view at grid AA. And hide the bag filter. We are going to remove the clashing bracket at base column connection at grid 3. Right click on bracket, and select advanced joint properties from context menu. On base plate dialog box. Select one side option in the Create Stiffener field. We are going to add some stiffener plates, by using Plate at Polyline tool. Now let's divide the screen into two vertical viewports by selecting two vertical option in viewport configuration. And change the right viewport from custom view to front view. In previous lesson, we haven't added four stiffener plates. We are going to draft the outline of stiffener plate first, then convert it to plate by plate at polyline tool. Back to 3D and draw a circle, with center point is the intersection of left edge of end plate and bottom edge of diagonal bracing beam. And radius is 145.
Start PLINE command to draw a stiffener plate outer line. We must join it into one polyline. To make it easy, we are going to create a model view for this joint. Now on Advanced Steel Tool Palette, select Quick Views Group, then select Quick View on Joint Tool. Then select the joint box, and select front arrow symbol as CS selection. Then enter three times to keep default extension. Now let's change the left view port from front view to top view. As you can see, this polyline is not lying on the vertical plane which go through the center line of horizontal beam. So we are going to create stiffener plate first, then move it into the right position. On Home tab, select Plate at Polyline tool, then click on the polyline we have just created. On Plate dialog box, type 12 into thickness field as stiffener plate thickness and switch to Positioning tab, select the Center option. Now move the stiffener to the center of the horizontal bracing beam. To make it easier, we are going to divide the left viewport into two horizontal smaller viewports. Then change the lower left from top view to custom view. And then change the right view port from top view to front view. We are going to insert a corner cut for the first stiffener plate. On Advanced Steel Tool Palette, select Features Group and then select Corner Cut icon. Then select the top corner of stiffener plate. Now and we are going to mirror the first stiffener plate. With the mirror line is the center of the column at grid 4. With the same procedure, we are going to create the second stiffener plate.
and add corner cut. Finally mirror it, with mirror line is the center of the column at grid 4. Thank you for watching and see you soon.